I know why you're here. Let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my mom. Say hi mom. Hi mom. <laughs> no. I know what you mean. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to Restoration Hardware and I'm going to show you guys some inspo for my new apartment. I know I can't afford it, but this is my design inspo and aesthetic. Aesthetic, right? Yes. Yes, guys. So stay tuned. Bye. <laughs> Alright guys, make sure to stay tuned to the end for a haul. And as soon as I walked into Restoration Hardware, I saw the bed that I want so bad. On the left, it's from Wayfair. It's about $700, including tax, but it looks exactly like the Restoration Hardware one. And these lamps, I'm gonna get one for the dining room on the credenza. It's actually a really good price at Home Depot. And the bus that I was talking about, I actually saw. It's so huge in person, but it's absolutely amazing. It's such a statement. On the left is the kudzu antiques version. And I was just showing you guys some stonework that I saw. You guys know how I feel about crystals and geodes. I'm going to need a million of them in my home. But I actually found a dupe for them on Perigold for a pretty good price. You guys can get maybe three or four, put them on a tray. As for this lamp, I'm going to get one from Ikea, but there's another version on Ballard.com or Ballard Designs, and it's $129, and I thought it was pretty dope. I absolutely love the chandeliers here, the coffee tables, the aesthetics, the couch. So I found this dupe for a, a marble and brass coffee table. It's only $600 in comparison to the thousands. And these huge geodes and stones are so mesmerizing, but they're so expensive at Restoration Hardware. Try antique shops or Etsy if you guys want the dupe. I absolutely love this credenza. I'm going to show you guys a DIY and a credenza in another video. But I wanted to show you guys where you can get some reindeer moss because they do a lot of that in Restoration Hardware. So, yeah. As for these picture lights, I found the perfect dupe. Thank me later. They're amazing. They're bomb. And they're from Amazon. And they're only $26. And I also found that they use a lot of Tom Ford and designer books. So I found a link for a Tom Ford affordable book because it's usually about $120. So thank me later. <laughs> And as for these beautiful curtains, I found a dupe from Ikea. And I love how they go all the way up to the ceiling. That's a, another tip to make sure when you hang your curtains to hang it a couple inches higher than the actual window frame to give that luxury look. So I've been in love with Birds of Paradise plants for the longest. And I actually found the perfect dupe that's super duper tall it's seven feet and it's from target so before i start the haul i thought i'd give you guys a quick outfit of the day i'm wearing a thrifty blazer from the men's section a forever 21 bralette a pair of zara jeans and some shoeland heels so yeah that's my outfit what do you guys think um, I'll link outfits if you guys like these kinds of things in the beginning of the video. I will link what I'm wearing So yeah Let's go. Welcome to the haul portion of this video. My favorite part. This is why you're here. I know this I, I know I know why you're here and thanks for waiting this long and thanks for making it through the video <sighs> Okay Let's get started because you guys are gonna gag if you don't gag, I'll gag for you. But let me show you my first piece. This is a finial from an antique shop here in Atlanta. Oh, God. I've been seeing this everywhere. I didn't know where to find it. My mom's been on the hunt for it for me. And we finally found it in an antique shop 
called kudzu i can leave the link below if you guys are from atlanta you guys want to go there it's very good to go to different places besides home goods to get unique pieces this i love the wood grain on it i love the bleached wood like i want to incorporate more bleached wood or more light pieces into my decor in my future apartment because i just love it <laughs> so the next thing that i picked up was this orchid from home goods and i can't remember how much this was i'm thinking it was around 16 dollars because i wouldn't pay anything more for this because at first I did not like it because it was standing all the way straight up and that wasn't giving me RH vibes. So I decided to bend the branches down and it's giving me what it needs it needs to give. I absolutely love it. The only thing is I hate the pot that it came in. I wish it was a little bit bigger. I wish it was a little bit, you know, more RH. That's our theme for today, more RH. It has some black pebbles on it. And I was thinking about doing a DIY if you guys want to see me basically depot this and put this in a new bowl and I think I have one for that I found this and this is the this this thing is amazing if you guys get to know me you'll know that I love concrete kind of accessories I don't know where I was going with that but I absolutely love the gray concrete kind of like industrial vibe this one was $16.99 and I was thinking about maybe putting moss into this bowl and I got this from home goods as well so you guys can probably still get it they have it in um, three sizes and my mom got the largest size or the middle size so yeah all right so I was thinking about maybe putting it into this bowl what do you guys think about that or a gold bowl and putting this on my dining table you guys haven't seen it yet because I haven't shown you my apartment yet but it's coming so yeah I was thinking about depotting it and putting it into there but you know we'll play it by ear this can still be good for moss the next thing I got is this huge huge pedestal thing Okay, my mom's gonna kill me because I cannot remember the correct term for this. I will link it below or put it across the screen so you guys can search these because this is amazing. This is RH to its core. They do a lot of European kind of old world kind of decor and I absolutely love this. It's very, it looks like it came out of Rome or something. So I'm so excited to style this. I don't have anything to style it with i was thinking maybe a vase would go or a vessel, a vessel. i don't know <laughs> i was thinking maybe a vessel would go really nice on this i just don't know what yet but i'm excited about that all right another stone piece i almost dropped it but this is a stone tray and it's in this kind of tan beige ivory color it has speckles in it like it is amazing i want to do i want to put this on the bottom of my coffee table because my coffee table my temporary coffee table right now is glass so there's like two layers on it and i want to put this at the bottom maybe with some beads in it i don't know or some moss maybe moss i'll do moss for this one Actually, I feel like moss is going to be everywhere, but stay tuned to see how I style this. This is very RH as well. <sighs> Last but not least is this. I got this bowl um, from Home Goods, and that the last item I showed you guys, this stone tray was an antique, was from Westside Market. So. You can't find this anywhere. I'll try to find a dupe for you guys. If you guys love this, I'll try to find it for you guys and link it below. But this is very RH. If you're looking for the RH5, go for stone and concrete pieces. You can never go wrong. Make sure they're either bleached, light wash, or gray. And this last thing is very RH inspired. You guys, I saw this at Home Goods maybe four times before I finally pulled the trigger on it because I was thinking it was going to be a little bit too bright, but it was actually perfect. And I like the hammered 
muted gold that has going on. It's very nice and even the inside is super duper nice. This one was $9.99 so it was just, I don't actually it was $9.99 and it took me four trips to finally get it. So yeah I'm gonna show you guys more of the decor and furniture that I'm gonna be putting in my place. I haven't gotten my place yet. Look out for a home an empty apartment tour around August. Just look out for that, but I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna be putting in the apartment. I've been shopping for weeks. I can't wait to like continue to put out videos for you guys. Like this video if you like it. Leave a comment. What what was your favorite piece and do you have a home decor aesthetic that you guys like? Do you guys like RH? Or are you into West Elm, Crate and Barrel, like do you guys like other places like that? Like let me know because I'm into all of that. I know I've been only on an RH vibe, but I'm into everything. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And I'm so excited to show you like my next video. So come back next time. Look out for another video this week and I'll see you guys later.